Hello, I'm Mark Vanderhelm with Walmart. Uh, Maria asked me to uh, comment on something which uh, I realized is true. Uh, this is something that I've realized is true throughout my career, which is as an engineer, the engineering background gave me a great uh, opportunity to analyze problems, understand numbers, didn't necessarily give me the best inclination around communication. Um, and uh, so let me tell a story about how that played out. So I'm new to Walmart. I've been there for about 11 months. Uh, Walmart's an incredible organization, uh, commitment to sustainability in 2005, uh, commitment towards aspirationally zero waste, zero carbon, and a more sustainable uh, supply chain. Specifically for 2020, we're looking at reducing our energy footprint in terms of energy intensity by 20% relative to 2010, and looking at procuring 2.5 billion kilowatt hours of renewable energy. Both very difficult to meet in context, uh, especially in energy efficiency, that we did a lot of the easy stuff from 05 to 10. I'm going to focus a little bit on that renewable energy goal. Uh, when I joined the team, again, with that technical background, had some experience doing transactions, which is really just another form of, of numbers, only in the, in, in the business context. I sat down with the team. I said, OK, 2020, where are we uh, with respect to, to meeting this goal? And they pulled out a document they referred to as the Corporate Renewable Energy Buyer Principles. It's like, okay, and a glossy document. So just began to walk through that. And, you know, they said, I started to read through it. You know, optionality, yes, yeah, I get that. Um, price, yeah, absolutely. You know, kind of skimmed through the document. I said, guys, look, look, look. And gals, there's no numbers on this page. I mean, we need strategy. We need execution plan. We need, you know, market analysis. Where are we going with this, right? And so, um, you know, we need to get this done quickly. And I probably didn't say it that nicely. Um, and so then I went to... Uh, uh, in the meantime, to, to the utility industry, recognizing uh, I came from the utility, I uh, spoke the language, uh, would be uh, a conversation that, that needed to be had. And as I reached out, I realized they were actually reaching out to me already. They were already, had already talked to their senior leadership about the types of products that us, the corporate, would need. And they knew about it, and they kept referring to this thing called the Corporate Renewable Energy Buyers Principles. In a sense, they, even the commissioners, were beginning to quote that document and understand how the industry needed to transform. So then I look back at that document a little closer. Yeah, absolutely, optionality. Every corporate's looking to meet their goals in a different fashion. Absolutely, price. At this point, renewable energy is really becoming, in certain areas, with the right resource and certain incentives, competitive with brown power. The concept of term is something that the corporate can bring to the table, provide long-term transaction or long-term cash flows to utility, translating into a more competitive product. Additionality, corporates love the concept of being able to go out and execute a transaction in which they're putting additional renewable energy in the ground, preferential to buying offtake from uh, projects which are already there. Financing, there's certain states which don't allow a third party ownership of generation. That's problematic. Uh, corporates, uh, Walmart, as others, sometimes would prefer to use their capital on core business, on uh, more strategic business, and have a pretty high internal rate of return relative to the renewable industry. And last, and most important, was a concept of partnership around the utilities, the commissioners, the end user corporates of renewable energy getting together and talking about the products, the transactional structures, the tariffs that are necessary for the industry to enable greater build of renewable energy. So what's the point? The point is, with the right avenue, with the right uh, initial sponsorship from corporates that started with 12 and, and built out to about 50, uh, with the right conduit, in this case, partnering with World Research Institute and the World Wildlife, World Wildlife Federation, we had the right conduit of folks who are out pounding the pavement on a daily basis and getting out to the utilities with a clean and concise message. The point is, communication of an idea is only relevant if the communication is well crafted and that can actually shift an industry. The last piece is important to this group, 
is what can be taken from that activity with the NGOs for the energy efficiency uh, uh, industry for the folks in this room and build off of the good work that people are doing here. And I know that the, uh, those two entities, NGOs, are interested in, in, in getting involved in this space and understanding how they can create a similar uh, uh, communication. And so throughout the day, I hope to have that conversation with the folks, get an understanding of what people think the right, end, the right issue may be, whether it be utility rebates or something more broad in terms of code structure at the county or city level, and figure out what the right avenue is in terms of the final end user uh, driver or sponsorship behind this uh, communication, as well as what the right conduit is for getting that communication out. Thank you. <laughs>